Oh, it's on. Ow. How's that working? <coughs> there we go, bear. Uh, yeah, well, so, um, like, what can I say? Anyone that wants to, uh, partner up with the interstellar, water, uh, interstellar uh, mission there, well, you know, again, Mars being the first step, you know, I guess if you'd looked over my set, you'd pretty well know what my trip is. You know, like, uh, like, uh, well, direct democracy, real democracy, that kind of thing. Do it away with the competitive bullshit and the subjugation, you know, real equality. Um, which includes, you know, well, I've already laid out basic... <clears throat> I'll, I'll put the links, um, here, and then... Here! <clears throat> Where I talked about, uh... A mathematically equal system. The main thing being is everyone has a equal opportunity at them becoming self-empowered and not at the expense of others. So I won't uh, go into long details if you're actually interested in you know the ideal economics and socioeconomics that I've been pointing out all along, like real Canadian democracy direction, right? <clears throat> because the big problems that we have here on Earth that make it to a place where, well, I can't contribute because I can't contribute to the destruction of others, the needless destruction of others, uh, which includes my own, because, you know, if I'm paying Harper to kill Africans and he's paying the Queen to kill me and, and Bill Gates and whatever else, well, you know the picture, right? It's that power imbalance thing. <sighs> totally against nature. Mass masses and energy seeks a balance. Power. So, you know, if you want to kind of look at it like that, <clears throat> the big problem is this guy that's got not enough food for the day. And that guy that has five billion bucks and is just directed at squeezing you right out of the picture, you know. 99%, 1%, well, it's obvious to see <coughs> in simplest terms. It's that imbalance, eh? So, um, yeah, here, we'll just show you. We've got some open gravel over here. Ah, come, come with me. Well, us. Us, actually. Uh, I'll just quickly whip up a model for you here of uh, Murder Trench. Oh. Come on, guys. Come over here. We're, we're going to do some terraforming. On, on the very small scale. Come on. Uh, don't, don't, don't get in the birds, please. Okay, so, um... So here's Mariana's trench, and, and we just simply <coughs> cover it in saran wrap <laughs> and thaw. Begin pumping in oxygen and hydrogen from split water in these um, craters over here. We'll, 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 we'll take you out there later on the satellite feed. And, uh, <coughs> don't worry, the, the dogs aren't that big on Mars. Um, <coughs> and, um, it starts to thaw out. Very nice trench is right at the equator, so you'll get the same amount of sun all the time pretty well. Well, I'll separate the distance between Earth, Mars and, and the sun. And, um, there you go, you know. <coughs> you get your start. There's these volcanoes over here. And always crash some more meteorites or some asteroids, uh, comets into it. You know, that's you know, big globs of ice or whatever you need, hydrocarbons. Obviously, you uh, can't rely on core heat on Mars. 
Well, I won't say that definitively, but because I actually don't know firsthand. All right, so well, um, I guess the first step is just 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 decide if you want to go. Fuck it, just walk away from this shit. You know, of course, it's not a matter of just walking away and that's it, but <clears throat> making the decision to comes like that. You know, and if not for you, well, for your children. Like I said, I can't make it, but not likely. Not enough time left, but I know others can. All right. Later 